I had leftover corn tortillas from chicken enchiladas that I made. So I'm gonna show you how to make taquitos. I'm just going to make a buffalo cream cheese-ish taquito. I have cream cheese, not pickled, but real. They're not fresh, they are jarred, but jalapenos, not pickled. A little dash of buffalo sauce and a little blue cheese dressing. I keep ranch dressing mix around to season things with. So I'm gonna sprinkle a little ranch and of course some yummo. I did put this in the microwave for 15 seconds right before, just so that I could easily mix it, but I don't want it to be liquid because I'm gonna be rolling it up. Just give that a quick mix. Okay. Corn tortillas dry out very easily, so I like to keep them covered with a moist um, paper towel. All you're going to do is take a little, put it down the center. Got to be careful you don't want to overdo and roll it up. I'll be back with step two. I'm getting ready to fry the taquitos, but I want to show you a quick tip in case you didn't know. When frying, a good sign to see if your oil is hot enough, take a wooden spoon. I'm zoomed in, so I hope you can see. Stick it down in the oil, and it immediately starts to bubble. So that's my tip. Okay, time to start frying. My oil's hot, I know that. So I'm going to gently seam side down if I can get it. Lower my taquitos in the oil. Oh, yep, that one needs to be refolded. There we go. And then it doesn't take long, so we'll see if um, one thing just happened, I noticed. It might stick for a second. Do not mess with it. When it's done, it'll pull away from the pan. There, see that? And time to turn. Also, two. Notice that the reason I kept the filling from the edges is because as it gets hot, it'll run out. It still might, it's no big deal, but if you can kind of leave yourself a little margin, that way when you go through this process here of finishing them off, it won't run out. But again, if it does, it's no big deal. You're not gonna lose much. You can see it's only taken I don't know, I should have timed it. Maybe a minute, less than a minute so far. Not much. And everything inside is cooked. It doesn't have anything raw in it. So all you really want is to brown up your corn tortillas. And I'm close. Turn them over one last time. And gonna move them. Let them drain because we're, whoop, there comes my. You gotta be careful because some of the oil will be inside. So just give it a little drain without leaving too many of your goodies. And let them cool. I'm gonna let them cool and we'll come back. Okay, they're done. They're actually a little better when they do cool for a bit, especially these, since the middle is only cheese. They need to kind of set back up. For a dipping sauce, I am mixing one part ranch to one part blue cheese. If you haven't had that combo, it's so good as just kind of a drizzle over different things. Um, I had some avocado, so I mashed up a little avocado and just about three drops of buffalo. That's gonna give it an 
avocado blue cheese ranch buffalo dipping sauce feel. Because how can you go wrong? All those things on their own or together are amazing. So there you have it. There's our dipping sauce. Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs>